Good afternoon, my name is Baba Tando. Let's get talking in the world of sports. And we start with the Black Stars, who will take on Russia's senior national team, the Golden Eagles, in an international friendly to be played at 16 hours GMT in Moscow, Russia. Now, the game will be played at the Lokomotiv Stadium. And Black Stars head coach Avram Grant has named a strong lineup to face the Russians. And uh, this is the starting 11. Goalkeeper Adam Kwasi returns to the post. Uh, we have Harrison Affle. Barbara Mann, and then uh, there's also John Boy and Jonathan Mensah. They'll be manning the defense and central midfield. Wakasa Mubarak, uh, Achu, Christian Achu, Efri Aqua are all there. Thomas Partey is also in the starting 11. Jordan Ayu and Franca Champon will lead Ghana's attack. Away from football, let's talk about athletics. And former Junior Olympics 800-meter champion Martha Bisa says she is not keen on competing for Ghana again, considering what she describes as a traumatic experience at the hands of the current administrations of the Ghana Athletics Association and the Ghana Olympic Committee. The problems uh, she actually underwent uh, over there. And um, the... Junior Olympics uh, winner, that's the 19-year-old Martha Bisa, who left, for, who left Ghana for the USA last Sunday to begin a four-year scholarship program at the Norfolk State University in Ohio, said she had been looking forward to this opportunity. I must say I'm very happy because that's what I was, I was waiting for, that a full scholarship. And I've worked hard because since I won that gold medal, there has been problem here and there. And Matabisha was a person that doesn't give up early. But since all this thing happened, it, it means like sometimes I wonder because I know I can make good things for Ghana and myself. But it came to a time that there was a problem here and there and then I must say I'm happy for this scholarship. That's what I was waiting for. I was preparing to go to Cape Coast to compete. So I was full prepared and I was even making confident that this game I was going to do something. But they say they have supported me indefinitely. I was, I was worried because I don't know the reason why. Or the athlete, some, because, let me t say something that. I'm an athlete that have not committed anything because all the athletes, even local base, they don't even talk to me. I don't know. That I met a young lady, I will not mention her name. He said, No, Prophet said, We shouldn't work with you. If you work with you, then you are good. That person is going to leave the national team. And I don't know the reason why. And I've done not anything against them. The GA says something that I am not the only athlete that everyone is saying, Matabisa, Matabisa. I'm nobody. So I said, okay, if I'm nobody, Matabisa won the gold medal for Ghana in the first history. <coughs> and me, myself, I always congratulating those who have even helped me a lot. Because when I came back from China, I know I am going to make it. Because Maureen Callis, those who I, did, who I did the competition with them, they are still making, and I'm here. I've, I should have been going to many competitions, but I'm still here. And I don't see the reason why. Now, when, when you get to the U.S. and you start training, who do you still want to work for Ghana? For that decision, <laughs> for now, I will think about it. I will think about it. I will think about it. That's what I will say. Let's still stay with athletics, but this time to the Paralympics. And this summer's Paralympics is set to begin tomorrow in the Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro. Now, Ghana has three representatives who have struggled beyond measure to secure fans for their preparation for and participation in the multi-sport events for the disabled. Now, the situation, according to Ghana power cyclist Bocho Inkegbe, who failed to qualify for his uh, division, uh, according to him, the situation is sickening, for which reason he doubts Ale Mumuni, Ghana's first paracyclist at the Olympics, powerlifter Charles Nate, and high jumper Yusuf Amadou, who mostly sealed qualification to the event through personal struggles and financial support from individuals, can win in medals. I always say that uh, your preparation will determine what you'll get from any event. You know, looking at the able bodies, they went and they came back because they couldn't bring anything, and it should really show the preparation. The para athlete, we know that normally, if all hope is low, we are the hope. But this year, there haven't been enough 
push on the parasite. So for me, I'm not be surprised if the parasite doesn't come home with any matter, but they will do their best. Every sport needs a support from the government. If you look at some of the record of some of the athletes we are going to compete with, they are putting millions of cities to invest in athletes. Athletes start preparing straight after the Rio is over or straight after London is over. Last four years, we all saw it, what Right to Dream Sports Academy, they took four athletes and they all qualify. And this year, we have Ghana, all the athletes who are going, some of them fight on their own to be there. So this is where the government and our authority, like the MPC, Association for Disabled Sports, need to be up and doing to make sure sports, I always say that sports is a job. So the ministry, because we all know that Blaster, without playing the qualify, they can't be in the World Cup. That's the same way athletes need to pass through the qualification stage to be prepared to represent Ghana because they are going to raise the flag of the nation. They are not going to represent themselves. So I will put the blame on the government and our authority, our the leaders, because we are athletes who are ready, mentally, physically ready, but without the push, you cannot do anything. All right, so let me take you to the foreign front where the U.S. Open is still ongoing and um, Novak Djokovic is in action today, later today, against Joe Wilfried Tsonga. And then Luka Puyil, the man who knocked out Rafael Nadal, he's also in action against the game Montfils. So um, that's uh, two Frenchmen against each other. And then one Frenchman, Joe Wilfried Tsonga, against the Seb Novak Djokovic. In the women's single division, Roberta Vinci is up against Angelique Kerber. And Caroline Wozniacki is up against Anastasia Sevastova. So these are the matches uh, to look forward to in the French Open. And also quickly before I take leave of you, I mentioned to you earlier that there were going to be some or black stars were going to be in a friendly match against uh, Russia. That match is at 16 hours GMT. So do make a date for that particular one. Also coming up in international friendlies, um, we have... Uh, Russia, uh, South Africa up against Egypt and Cameroon up against Gabon. So lots of African countries in action there. But uh, the match between all the matches between Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast, Indonesia up against Malaysia, Kyrgyzstan and Philippines, as well as Palestine up against Tajikistan are facing some difficulties. So those matches uh, will not come off at the times. They were supposed to come off. We'll update you on our sports page on myjoyonline.com where you can catch other headlines uh, uh, on sports as well. My name is Baba Tando. Good afternoon.